By integrating your Metasys Extended Architecture with uh, utility meters, you give yourselves a, a wide range of functionality that will allow you to monitor your power meters remotely. It uh, will also uh, give you an easy way of tracking all of your data as well. Most of your utility power meters will feature some type of a contact that can be configured within the particular meter to close and open uh, per a kilowatt usage. Uh, it, it can be configured for varying rates. It just really depends on the meter. What we're going to talk about in this video is some of the ways of bringing that information into Metasys. And the first step in doing that is to create what is known as an accumulator, which is going to be linked to a particular input on a controller. Now these accumulators can be done inside the internal programming of the uh, device or it can also be done inside Metasys as well. Uh, what we're going to do here is look at one that is configured internally to the device. However, the setup is pretty much identical if you were to do one of these under Metasys Extended Architecture. If you're going to install your meter, the first thing you would do is tie that meter to an input point on your controller and then somewhere in your programming folder or somewhere under your NAE you would insert a accumulator and the accumulator object does basically what you would expect an accumulator does. It just keeps gathering uh, information. Every time the contact is closed on that input, the accumulator would roll up to the uh, next value and it basically will store that uh, information that can be used into other objects and uh, we see here just going through some of the basic steps I'm not actually going to insert this but I just want to give you uh, a brief overview of that of inserting an accumulator this input reference is where you would actually go into your system and find the particular input for the device that you were using uh, that you were using to monitor your power meter once you have that selected, and I'm just going to cancel out of here because I'm not actually wanting to add this, and you create your accumulator, it's going to look something like this. It's going to, every time the contacts close, that number will increase up to the next value. Now, that is only one of the three objects that we would need to insert before we can get the actual utility profile of a meter which is what we see here. The next item that we would need to insert would also be uh, the meter itself. Now we can see the point here, the object here which we would again find from our objects list. This is a pulse meter. This pulse meter is actually looking at the accumulator that we see over here that uh, we had pulled up earlier. This meter here needs to be some careful consideration in setting up the uh, way that this reads. The uh, way that you will set this up is you will simply insert the object like what we have done before uh, there's going to be your uh, rate default, your sample time, which for this is 60 seconds. Pay real close attention to this right here, this pulse consumption. Inside your meter itself, there will be a configuration that will allow you to configure how many pulses are sent out per kilowatt. This has to match that value. This input here, if it does not match, you will not get an accurate reading into this meter. 
this meter will record the current usage of your make power meter it will display the current usage for the particular power meter that it is linked to through that accumulator now this only gives the current usage if you want to set up to where you can see what you're doing throughout the month the third object that you will be inserting will be a DDLR which is a data logger we can see that here this DDLR will be tied to that meter that we were looking at earlier it will be tied to this meter and remember this meter is then tied to the accumulator down here once that information is pulled in what it will do then is allow you to track for an entire month or however you have it configured for your particular building or meter this one is set up to run every month now one of the things you need to be cautious of as well these meters these utility profiles if the power is lost to the NAE or the NCE whichever device you are using uh, to store this information this information can easily be lost so I recommend that you make regular printouts or you know transfer this information regularly to another device another type of uh, you know an Excel spreadsheet or just uh, print out a hard copy of it that way if for some reason you lose power or if you have to reset an NAE you will not lose all of your utility profile but that's just a brief overview of how to integrate a meter into Metis's extended architecture once again just to go through you will actually insert an accumulator which will be tied to a binary input from a controller that accumulator will then be tied to a utility meter object that you create in Metasys that utility meter object will then be tied to the DDLR the data logger and if we were to look at the display for what those show we can see here that the meter is showing what our current usage is the DDLR is not really showing any usage here however if we view it we can see that it does uh, let's see and this will be tied to the uh, meter and will give you your utility profile it gives you your peak demand it will give you your total demand for uh, the month here it's very very useful anyways I hope this gives you a brief understanding of how you can integrate power meters and utility meters into Metis's extended architecture please give the video a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments below